storms Monday night. All right, thanks, Brett. And we will continue that team coverage by going out to Grundy County, where Brett was talking about that tornado hit earlier tonight. Channel 13's Roger Riley now joins us live on the phone from Rhinebeck. Roger, what are you seeing out there? Uh, what I'm seeing here, Dave, is uh, a, a mile west of Rhinebeck, uh, a, a tornado touched down here earlier this evening. It, uh, Our own Roger Riley is out on the roads this morning. He has a camera mounted on his dashboard, joins us live on the phone this morning. Good morning, Roger. What are you seeing out there and uh, where are you right now? Uh, right now, I am on I-235 eastbound, and this just in, uh, the first accident of the morning just occurred, the one I have seen anyway, uh, west of the uh, uh, west of Roosevelt on I-235 by the golf course in the westbound lane, two vehicles. We'll check in with you again in a little bit. And speaking of that severe weather, Channel 13's Roger Riley was in Cherokee when the storm hit. He had to take shelter with people there. Roger joins us live on the phone. Roger, you're now in the town of Washta. Really, the storm came through Cherokee, and I uh, took shelter with some moviegoers uh, there while the storm passed through. But uh, afterwards, I checked with the Cherokee County dispatcher, and it seemed like that the damage reports, there were no real reports of damage in the town of Cherokee. But Hardcore rain for, oh, I'd have to say two and a half or three hours. Before long, a river was flowing through the center of town. Help was called in to block streets. Dean Hopkins is a city councilman. Uh, county sheriffs and everybody's been doing a phenomenal job. Our fire department is doing an awesome job. DOT crews were called in to help block Highway 25. High water here stranded a car under an overpass. A woman was rescued unharmed. Just splash flood, just trying to keep up and uh, get her done. Those who live here say there will be a price to pay in their basements. Oh yeah, just in uh, both. It was another wild night of weather this evening. No tornadoes reported, but when nearly did touch down, photojournalist Roger Riley capturing this video of a wall cloud near State Center. He took shelter with some stranded motorists who say the funnel did come close to touching the ground. You can see it touching, and we, we just took pictures of it as it went all the way around. Wow. I mean, Grant, we shouldn't have been out. Uh, what do you think about what you've seen here in Thurman? Well, I mean, it's a mess. I mean, it's just, this is extensive damage. What was probably an EF1, EF2 tornado. Um, I, I think there'll be enough to get it to the EF2 scale. But you know, the good news is, is nobody lost their life. And this is a big, big outbreak. Uh, un tonight. Just south of Pocahontas on Highway 4, I spotted a funnel cloud in the field that looked like it was on the ground. But by the time I could get some pictures, all I could see was a big shaft of rain. Then on the other side of Pocahontas, north on Highway 4, this big what they call wedge cloud was just hanging there for a while. At Job 13, we are over the town of Hillsboro, which is in far southeast Iowa, where on Monday night, this grain bin collapsed, sending a half million bushels of grain onto a house. And you can see the remnants of the bin there. And I'm going to zoom in. You can see what's left of the house is right there. Basically, it was shoved and split in half. And uh, we've seen people down there on the ground going through, trying to salvage the family's possessions, what's left of their house. You can see it uh, just... Three, one, three. Some of those secondary roads don't try and drive through the water. You don't know if the road is still going to be there. I'm saying that actually be advised is a uh, lifeguard helicopter coming off the uh, hospital. If you're traveling this weekend, you need to be aware of some roads that are cut off by high water. As you can see that small trickle coming out, he says there really hasn't... I would say that the, it would be a time that if people are going to think about getting out, now would be a good time to think about it because there is 